All right, let's start. Same question I asked Joe Madden, and Joe Madden used to manage the Angels, so maybe, again, he's being polite. He doesn't want to blow them up. But they're four out of the last wild card. Trout's now out for a while. Rendon is out. Neto is still out. Is it time to blow it up? It's a minor blow up. And, and, and when I say that, I think you have to move Otani. In my estimation, you That's go not ahead, a minor yeah. blow up. That's but, blowing yeah, it up. I don't know if it's a blow up because I, I believe in Ohapi and I believe in some of the young players that they have. They have a nice core of but players. But say goodbye to Otani. But I would say goodbye to Otani wow. and try to get as much pitching capital as I possibly could get. This guy will bring you a lot. I mean, you saw some of the trades that were made last year for guys who were rentals. And to me, I think that you can do serious damage with this guy because somebody, he's going to be a difference maker for a team on both ends. Yeah. And I think yeah. you can do a, a tremendous, uh, you can get a tremendous haul. And I think Paramanesian, I think it's got to happen, in my estimation, if he really wants to continue Look, to build. And he can be right back in it. I don't yeah, think he's going to be able to get it done for this year. Yet you take such a PR hit. That's not the way to do business. However, you've been in the business at the yeah. highest levels. Yeah. So you know, could you do it in the real world? Say to your fans in, in Anaheim in Los Angeles, like, hey, we got the best player maybe in the history of the game. We, you know, we can't keep him. Like, I think that's a bad sign. It, it is a bad sign, except that if you also get into the sweepstakes for him next year, and but if you, oh no, I know if you, it doesn't if you happen trade very, him, you're not. Doesn't happen very it's often. very unlikely. But at the very least, you're going to get some serious capital for him, and that's and that's the move. I know that's Even a short term. Tough, All right, no, tough, I'm, tough thing to do, no question about it. But that was the right thing to do for him right now. I'm not totally disagreeing with you. I, in the real world, it's tough. Who else should sell? Give me one team that should sell. I think the Mets should sell. I think then and the, wow, the New really? York the fan time. base is going to be all over me until I talk about the Yankees. As far as I'm concerned, there's a bunch of guys you can sell and and get a lot of capital. Who I mean, the pitchers. It's, it's, there's a whole slew of them. I mean, you look oh, all up and down. There you go. Go. Definite <laughs> trades. Adamino gone. Robertson gone. Canna. Even Marte, you got to. He said he would. Fam's you know, your best player. Cohen, Cohen, Cohen <laughs> you can't trade your best player. He would be able to get. You know, put some money into that Marte trade. Oh. And and I said. And again, I would actually listen terribly. on Pete Alonso as well. Oh. And 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 the reason why I say you this can't is do that in New York. Uh, why, why trading not? Alonso? That's your why future. Not? That's the guy you should retain. That's your draft and develop. You know, stud first baseman. But have they won him. with him? They have not won with him yet. I, they listen, won 101 I, games I like last Pete year Alonso. with him. I think, I think he's a very, very good player, but ha they have not taken it to the next Ruben, level. you're in him. the number one market. You I draft and develop your own guy slugging first baseman, who's doing a good job, whether he slugs 500 or 550 or 53 home runs, and you're saying to your fan base when you're the richest guy in baseball, yeah, I guess we can't keep him. You've got to keep then that guy. Then why have they not signed him? They should have signed him then. Should have. Yes, be, they should. Yeah, right. Yeah. So, so, so obviously they're not very close. Yeah. You kept Ryan Howard, by the way, until the bitter, bitter end. Well, we ended up signing him, and it ended up biting us, but right. uh, because he ended up getting hurt. But, but for me, I mean, if if they're going to keep him, then go ahead and sign him. Then at this time, you. you should I agree with. That. I agree with that. Otherwise, yeah. the, the highest level of of capital that you're going to be able to get for, for a guy like Pete Alonso is right now because you have them for this year and next. Let me just ask you because, again, especially on this show, we do this all the time, like, hey, blow it up, flip your assets, do this, very be transactional. Again, you've been in many, many baseball seasons. Are we just too hair trigger? Like, there are three months left where it could be a completely second half. And if you're the Mets, could you be thinking that way? I, I have to say this. I, they have been just playing so just mediocre baseball for so long, the Mets, Mm -hmm. As far as as far as that team is concerned, um, I just don't see them having. Believe it or not, this is going to sound strange for a team that 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 is run by Buck Showalter. I don't know that they have, like, the, not just the talent, but do they have the culture to win? I mean, they they collapse at the end. Doesn't look like year. it this year. It did, it looked like last year for last a year full five and a half months. But I don't see it, it sure happening did. right now. Not, on, look like not it now. on a daily basis yeah. and not consistently enough. Okay. Are the Braves the best team in baseball? We we rarely talk Braves baseball because they just keep humming along, doing good things, and they have the best record right now. They are absolutely the best team in baseball, but they are not my favorite to win the World Series. Who's your favorite? Well, I think it, all of it depends. Now, it will, they would be my favorite if Max Fried comes back and pitches like a number one mm. or Soraka comes back and pitches like he pitched, what, in 2019 because then they'll have Spencer Strider and Max Fried and or uh, right. Soraka. Right. Um, and I, I have to believe that if you really want to win, you almost have to have two number ones or a one or a 1A in order to get through those short series. 
And and to me, I mean, you got to think about the Yankees because if Rodon comes back and pitches like he can, you got Cole, Rodon, and Cole as a as a as a one-two. If there's no Judge, there's no chance for them. Oh well, They're, Judge, I think Judge will come back. Obviously, back. Judge has to come back as yeah, well. Right. Um, so so th those are uh, ifs, but I think that they have to be a team that that there's going to be a contender. I think the National League though is is so flat. They're so far in a short series. Of course, they, they could lose like you you lose in two days, right? Yeah. You lose like you, you come in even if you're the top and they'll be a number one seed. You have a wild card team. You can get rolled right away. It happened to them last year. But odds are they're far and away better than anyone else in the National well, League. Well, Atlanta is definitely far and away better than anybody else. But they have to get Max Fried back because they need a one and a two. It can't be just Spencer. All right, who's right. your World Series favorite? Now, I won't even challenge it. World Series favorite. You'd say, oh, put, put, uh, not, put a milkshake down on that. Oh, my goodness. Well, I will say the Atlanta Braves. I will oh, say so the, you, say, so you do I'll believe say, in the Braves. I, I, I there do, you go. That's what you really think. I believe think. in them because because I do believe that Max Fried is going to come back and make a difference. See, if you could have rolled, you could have rolled the Rays right out of there. <laughs> I would have shut up immediately. All right, I promise. Thank you, Ruben.